to the channel. It is Thursday, currently 10 23 in the morning. We just picked up the order here for the Pod Billy Kids. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I've been doing uh, deliveries for Pod Billy on the side for basically years now. So instead of putting it in the apps or whatever, they just, you know, after knowing me for a while, they're like, hey, would you be interested in doing this? We'll pay you cash, we'll buy it once a week. Um, and that kind of evolved to like they wanted, they wanted to hire me. But I don't want to work in the actual restaurant because it kind of takes away my freedom, you know. Um, but I help them with this order or other, other times. If they need help and it's paying well enough, cool, you know. Um, this one usually pays around 40 bucks for like two or three miles. But the order is a lot smaller right now during the summer. So typically they give me like 20 bucks in cash, you know, from the, uh, the school or whatever. So here we are. Now after that, we're going to go by, drop off the check. And then we're going to go to Alo Vietnam, which is where the order is here, with Zifty. And this was paying almost $33. Pickup time is 11 o'clock, and right now it's 10.20, so we should have plenty of time to pick it up. Uh, plus, I've been there, so I know where it's at. I know where Alo Vietnam is at. So it should be a smooth pickup process, I hope. So anyways, let me get this dropped off. We'll see you guys in a Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off here from Pop Belly. Of course, I can't show you any recording. It's going to a school full of little kids. I'm not about to record little kids. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we got 20 bucks here. We got an, an Andrew Jackson, 20 bucks. And then we do have the check here for Pop Belly, but we're actually not gonna drop it off right away. We're gonna swim by and pick up the order from Isle of Vietnam first, because the drop off is like minutes away from the town center. So it's gonna be fine. We're 15 minutes away here from Isle of Vietnam. We're gonna be there by 10.55. I can't even say that I'm there till 11, so. Technically, I'm gonna be early, but I'm still gonna go inside and see. I'm curious to see how the food's gonna be packaged because Alo Vietnam is a it's a fat place, you know, like Vietnamese soup. So I'm curious as to how they're packaging all these things. Although they have actual you know dishes and stuff, and most people go there to get the soup. So yeah, hopefully though it's a smooth pickup. We'll see you guys there. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys, this right here looks like a construction zone. It actually looks a lot different. Last time I was here, this entire building I don't even think was up yet. But I love Vietnam is right here. They're not even open yet. They open in five minutes. So maybe they'll let me in. Maybe it's ready. Maybe it's not ready. Who knows? Uh, doors open. There you go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's probably all those boxes. Great. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm just picking up an order. Oh, uh, oh easy cater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No worries. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, it looks like a bunch of boxes. That should be actually no problem. So, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, we got the order here picked up from all of Vietnam. How could I forget about banh mi, Vietnamese sandwiches? Of course, that's that's great for catering. So, I was talking to the manager, and he said they're actually open at 5. The kids just open at 5 in the morning sometimes because they have so much catering. They go through Easy Cater and things like that. Um, and then I asked him about DoorDash because I know they also do DoorDash. And he says, oh, like they requested not to do their catering through DoorDash because it had a lot of issues with like dashers, I guess. Very interesting. He told me to do a lot of Easy Cater. And I was like, wow, cool. You know, anyways, we got both the catering bags completely filled. The boxes are perfectly like, the dimensions are perfect for the catering bag. You know what I mean? Uh, now we are 10 minutes away here from the drop off. And then they got some wonton soup and then a bunch of banh mi's, which is Vietnamese sandwiches if you didn't know. Now you know they're really, really good. Um, but yeah, we did pick up an order here for tomorrow. Nothing crazy or anything. $17.50, I think, uh, around 11. You know, just a little little quick order. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye out for other orders. There was another order that I dropped this morning that I wanted to take, but he wouldn't let me. I don't know, maybe because it was too close to this one. The pickup time was 11.35. And it was from like Nando's paying like also 30 bucks going like two miles. This drop off is like down the street from Nando's. But it kept saying uh, like, oh, the task cannot be claimed or something. So maybe I'm thinking it's because it was too close. I don't know, maybe. Um, but then when I refreshed it, it was gone. Or maybe someone else beat me to it. Who knows? Who knows? Regardless, I think Zifty and, and Delivered uh, are great additions here to the arsenal uh, for sure. For sure. Anyways, let's get to the drop off. We'll see you guys there. Hello. How's it going? Another day. Another day, another day. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Is this for Hunter? Yeah. Okay, there you're fine. Okay. So just, just stay here for now. 
Some of them come uh, escorting. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys, so not sure why I was talking about security here, but we're going to wait and see what's up. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. I'm not sure how much it recorded. I knew that it was going to overheat because I could feel I could feel how hot the camera was through, like, my shirt. Um, but I know we at least recorded walking into the building. The security guy was real jumpy. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that recorded. He was like, you can't. He was like, stop, stop. I was like, I am chill. Because <laughs> someone was going to let me in. And then he was like, no, he, he can't. He has to stay there. Someone's got to escort him and this and that. I get it. I Maybe mean, work in a fancy spot. I get all that. I'm just dropping off food, yo. That's all I'm doing. Just want to drop it and go. Um, eventually, so the lady came out, took me to the kitchen. She's like, oh, yeah, this is a small lunch. I was like, this is a small lunch? She said, typically, they order twice as much. And I was like, wow, that would be a fat tip for sure. This one is pretty good, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much the subtotal was. Um, but, you know, we got like $30-something. dollars. We'll take it. We'll take it. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. We're getting an order here with Grubhub. And it's garbage from Panera Bread. Eleven forty-two for 16 miles. No, thank you. We're going to go ahead and say the offer is too low for distance. And we're making our way here towards the town center so we can get Pop Billy their check. Where, where's the check? <laughs> Yo, chill. Where's the check? Okay, woo. It was below. It was below the Andrew Jackson. I got scared for a second. I was like, "That's a check, man." Anyways, current time by the way, it's eleven twenty-six. Now we got fifty dollars in the bag. Could we do two hundred again today, perhaps. As we made it back go. here to the town center, dropped off the check, and I declined. I think, man, four or five stacked orders. So it's like ten orders basically. That were all basically trash. Like I was like, "Yo, what's going on, Grubhub? That was cool. What's up with this trash?" And then this one came along. I'm like, you know what? This one right here is not trash compared to the other ones. Paying 646, 3.3 miles here from Chick-fil-A. Perhaps we'll see uh, my arch nemesis. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I was like, I was surprised that I, I was getting so many. Like, they were all back to back to back to back, but they were all trash. They were all, st all of them were stacks. Sweet green stacks. What else did I see? I saw uh, um, like Nando's, a bunch of like nice restaurants, you know? So I don't know if maybe people just. Not, not tip it today, what's going on? I don't know. But like always, you know, we don't take no trash. It has to make sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to me, I'm not taking it, you know? Uh, so we waited, and then this one came along. Uh, I'd much rather do a 646, 3.3 miles than do a $12 order for like nine miles or 10 miles going in the opposite direction of where I want to be, you know? This keeps me here within resting, so it's a win, win, win. Now, the only problem is, can we find parking? Because Chick-fil-A at 1130 or 1135, it's, uh, you know, it can be kind of chaotic. Ah, I see a parking spot though. We good, we good. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, here we are at Chick-fil-A, home of the original chicken sandwich um, here in Sunset Hills in Reston, Virginia. I don't know why I just gave you like a whole ass description when it wasn't really needed. Um, fun fact, I've been to the headquarters of Chick-fil-A. Back in, back in my early 20s, I worked for Chick-fil-A for many years. Um, great company to work for by the way great company let's see this is ready right here let's see man i want to be this guy right now my pj um rustling for me rustling or not yet not looking good not looking good Okay, son. Gracias. Hey guys, we got the order picked up here from Chick-fil-A. They're a little bit waiting, which is kind of rare, at least at this Chick-fil-A. But they got rid of their shelf. Not that they even really used the shelf, but now they put like a little laminated sign saying, you know, the food's behind the counter to prevent theft. I mean, I'm not surprised. But like I said, this Chick-fil-A is not even like the Nola Grand's Chick-fil-A's. Although I think his Chick-fil-A also stopped doing it, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, I think his latest video, I think I saw, they don't, they don't put it out anymore, right? Oh, hold on, we're getting another order here. What is this, 725? Hey, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think this is right here. Hold on, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? Hold on. They just gave me another order. Here, hold on, let me see. Hold on, hold on. This is so dumb. Are you telling me that I have to drive, then I have to come back all the way here? They just gave me an order from this Chipotle. They go into the same building I'm already going to, but I can't, like, I can't change the, um, like the task, you know, like I have to 
yeah, like I have to come here. This is so dumb. Actually, no, no, I, I, I could do that. I just, I just changed it. I changed the tunnel thing because it says pick up by twelve oh seven. I mean, I get it. I'm a little bit early. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm already here, why would I, um, why would I drive there just to come back when I'm already here? So I'm hit that I arrived. I mean, let me hit that I arrived. This is going to the same building. It's the same company that I've been saying must have that deal with Grubhub because it's going to the same the same office, literally. So we're going to park in the same spot that I just left. We're going to go in Chipotle and we're going to wait for this order. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so we ended up waiting, of course, for the one at Chipotle. And then when I was parked, like as soon as I finished the recording, they sent me another order from five guys, $11 for three miles, I think. So right now we have three orders. Of course, only two of them are picked up. Uh, we have the uh, 646 one from Chick-fil-A, the seven and some change from Chipotle. And then we're gonna have 11 bucks on top of that here from five guys. So it looks like Grubhub is popping today. Um, I'm glad that I was able to figure out how to toggle the thing so that I could pick up the uh, the Chipotle order. So anyways, so we're five minutes away from both drop-offs. They're going to the same building same street number so it's a win 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 all around it's a hot one today guys it's real hot today Whew, man what a day what a day current time by the way is 12 o'clock let's go to here from jersey mike's he came through as we were dropping the last one off let's see Whew, man. hey what's up man I'm just picking up for amanda oh my bad i don't even look at the show i'm sorry that was my fault yeah, it's not here though. <laughs> cool man, no worries. Sounds good, are you good? I forgot about the shelf, that was my fault. Okay guys, we got the order here picked up from Jersey Mike's. In my defense, almost nobody uses the shelves. All the merchants keep it behind the counter. The shelf's just decoration, but it also wasn't ready. So did a little bit of waiting, no big deal. Jersey Mike's is great anyways. Paying $9, I think for six miles. I took it mainly because if I didn't take this order. I was going to drive a lot of dead miles back, and I figured why not make at least nine bucks from a good merchant. Uh, now, here we are. Current time is 1237. Let's keep it going. Hey guys, if you think I'm yelling, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just talking loud because my AC is blasting. So, after doing the last drop off on the way back to the town center, we get this offer right here from the Bento House. The Bento House, as of late, has provided some decent offers. But it goes to show you it's all about who's working, okay? They got like that. The C squad, the replacement squad working right now, and they are so behind with the orders. Ended up waiting 10 minutes past the pickup time. Texted the customers that she knew, um, and now we're on the road. Current time is 1.10. Uh, this is paying like 9.60, I think, for like four miles. Not bad. Right now, we're about, we're about to enter into the slow times, so we gotta take everything that makes sense. After this, we'll be around like 90 bucks, I think, so not bad, really. Um, shout out to the uh, 50 order that paid $32, I think. And of course, pop really with the 20 bucks. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow though. It's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna dash, dash, wow. Wow, take that back. I'm not gonna work as much. Um, I got some plans with some friends in the afternoon, but then I do plan to go out for like some late night ride share. So we'll see how tomorrow goes, but today's today, that's tomorrow. Hopefully we can make 200 today. Alrighty, guys. So after doing the last drop off, by the way, it was super complicated because the lady put the wrong building. Then she said, "Oh, I'm coming down to meet you." Then she was like, "I don't see you," and I'm like, "I'm where the GPS took me." Just can you go to the front? It was a whole ordeal. I I don't think there's a timer option on Grubhub, but part of me wanted to just leave her there so badly. But I'm like, you know what? She's here somewhere. Let's just find her. We found her. Drove to the town center. And I get this one right here from Mediterranean Rice Bowls. And I'm like, I've never heard of this place. Kind of find out it's a ghost kitchen for Calypso Sports Tavern, which I've been to like twice. And they, and they weren't the greatest. Um, but maybe today will be different. Let's see. It's, it's pretty dead over here, the uh, Lake Ann. But then again, it's randomly like Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah, definitely slow down a bit. I mean, it's to be expected. It is between two and five, so these are the times where you know we take what we can get. Let's see here if the Calypso Sports Tavern, you know, is on point, which seems doubtful to be honest. Please wait here to be seated, as there's nobody there. So, nah, we're picking up orders. Picking up orders. What's up with the music? Why is it blasting? Don't demonetize me. 
Oh, maybe it is ready. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Sorry, I know you're eating. I'm just picking up for uh, cat. Cool, thank you so thank much. You. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, too. Hey, the food is ready. Lady was eating her lunch, as she should. It is lunchtime. That's, that's what I was about to do when the order came in, to be honest. Uh, it's a falafel rice bowl with some leaf, grape, grape leaves. Interesting. We'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off from the Calypso Tavern or the Mediterranean, whatever it was called. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure they were over $100 currently 215 and we're here at the town center so they can want to get something to eat real quick kind of hungry uh, we're gonna keep everything on though because if i get an order i can just eat faster i guess um, but we'll see you guys hopefully soon all righty guys quick update it's been a minute it got really really slow current time by the way is 329 and this entire time i've gotten two orders one that i declined and the one that i just took right now from taco socalo paying seven and some change going five miles i'm tired of setting so we, we took it is it ready? I hope so. I mean, right now it's not really their busy time. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let's see. Oh, a lot of food. Hello. Hello, I'm just picking up an order for Kareem. But I think I'm early, so it's fine. Cool. Thank you. Okay, guys, the slow times today, whew, absolutely brutal. We got the order dropped off from Taco Socalo. I was driving back and then we get this one right here from Chick-fil-A. I think it's like 650 something for like maybe like 3.3 miles, I think. Honestly, most of the miles is because I was kind of far from Chick-fil-A. Um, but yeah, one of those days, you know, it's just slow. It is what it is. Again, if we can get to 150, cool. More than 150, even awesome, you know, or even better. But yeah, that's the update for right now. Current time is 410. Yeah, Chick-fil-A dropped all the Chick-fil-A's all the way over there. <laughs> But it's been a while. It is 525. Holy crap. It's been one of the slowest days in a while. What is this? BFT. Body fit training. Yeah, there's so many of these gyms popping up. Like F45 and Orange Theory and all these boxing gyms. It's crazy. What happened to just going to like, I don't know, Planet Fitness? Anyways, we're going here to uh, Gregoria. First time here, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see if it's... Whew. It is... Oh, it's back there. It is so hot outside. Let's see. Hello. I'm just picking up an order. Mallory. Mallory F. 46.58? Oh, it's a, it's a grub up, yeah. It's about to be like, man, I don't have that kind of money. Huh? <laughs> I'm over here trying to make money. Yeah. Thank you. No, Steven? No, I'm picking up for Mallory. That's what I got. Mallory, large green peppers, pineapple bacon, green pepper, pineapple bacon. Is that it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was another driver before. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's why. I don't know. Cool, man. Have Thanks. Day, man. You too. Take care. Nice. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, guys. I don't know why he said my Steven. Definitely not Steven. Um, but yeah, first time ever coming here to uh, Gregoria or something pizza or other. It's, it's a decent order. Nine bucks, like four or five miles. Again, today's been one of the slowest days. If I, if I can get to 150 today. I think today will be redeemed. You know what I mean? We are going to use the DoorDash pizza bag, though. I, don't, I think it'll barely fit in here. Let's see if it fits. Let's see. Okay, guys, we got the order picked up here at the pizza place or Italian place, Gregoria, something or other. Guy kind of threw me off. He said, are you Steven? I'm like, I'm not Steven. My customer's name isn't Steven. So I don't know why it says Steven on there. First, he was like, it's 46 something. Like, I was like, whoa, whoa, chill, bro. I don't have that kind of money right now. We're trying to make money. Um, so maybe maybe it's like an old school restaurant where maybe Grubhub calls the orders in. I don't know. I do have the Grubhub card, but I haven't had to use it. So, yeah. Anyway, it's current time right now. It's 525. Oh, by the way, the pizza bag did fit. Or the pizza, the pizza did fit in the pizza bag. Man, I can't even talk. It's been a day. We started off pretty decent. 
Uh, lunch was okay, and then he just nosedived in the last two or three hours. It's been rough. It's been a rough one, but those days are gonna happen. You know, it's gonna it's gonna happen. So if we can make it to 150, that's pretty respectable here on a slow day. You know what I mean? So my Red Bull can is vibrating back there. But yeah, let's get this dropped off. Let's keep it going. Yeah, let's get the order dropped off from the pizzeria or Italian place. Uh, and it was funny because the customer ended up meeting me outside and she was kind of confused when she saw my pizza bag from DoorDash. And I was like, look, uh, it's the Gruffa, but I don't have a Gruffa pizza bag. I didn't want your pizza to get cold. She's like, oh, okay, I was just confused. Um, and you know what's interesting? She didn't even order through Grubhub. She ordered through their website. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Anyways, now here we're at Chen's Kitchen. I'm just glad to be getting an order. Let's see if it's ready. Hi, how are you? I'm just Good picking up for Jennifer. Um, yeah, of course. All right. Thank you so yeah, much. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. The order so ready, the food guys. is ready here at Chen's Kitchen. That little girl is always there. So I'm assuming her parents must own the restaurant. You know, save a buck. You hire your kid. I get that. I feel like it's very, that's a very immigrant thing to do though. Like even at the other spot, uh, what is it called? Uh, in the town center, the place, the really expensive can of soda. All the guys that work there, they're all related to like the guy that owns it. You know what I mean? Um, or if I go to the other kebab place, also it's all like their sons. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's, I understand it, but I feel like at the same time, it's also kind of tough for the kid. Cause what if you, what if you don't want to follow in your parents' footsteps? What if you don't want to run the store, run the shop? What if you want to just live your life? You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm glad my mom never pushed me to follow anything that I didn't want to do. You know, so shout out to her for giving me that freedom. I'm not saying they're being forced, but I'm just saying that I'm sure it's peer pressured, especially for the guys that are older that work at the Turkish place that I can't remember the name. Um, this girl, I mean, she looks like she's probably like in high school or middle school, so she doesn't really have a choice. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, but at the same time, I could be totally wrong. That could be exactly what they want to be. You know, they want to make sure their parents' shops are successful and whatnot. So for all I know, I'm just talking out my ass, to be honest. I don't know. I'm just giving you my two cents. You guys let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're two minutes away here from the drop-off. Current time is 5.50. Let's go. If there's ever a sign that it's really slow, look where I'm at. I'm at on the border. I absolutely hate this place. The order's paying, I think, 60 and some change with an order from on the border and Chipotle. Look for, a, you know, I'm not a huge fan of student driver stickers, but these aren't bad. And I'm pretty sure this is more of a joke. Who's, who's learning how to drive on an SI? You know, that's, that's not in the car you learn to drive on. You know, it's, first of all, it's thick. You know, almost everyone just drives automatics nowadays. So, you know, dying breed, dying breed. Um, but, it, you know, I'll probably be a little bit rusty. I haven't driven this thick in a while, but anyways. Will it be ready, guys? Will it be ready? Regina, is that for Regina? Let me see. That is not for Regina. It'll, it's gonna be a while, I can already tell you. It's gonna be a minute. See you guys soon. Alrighty, guys, we're here at Chipotle. Will it be ready? I'm pretty sure it'll be ready. It's just a burrito bowl for Mr. David. Let's see. Nah. What's up, bro? Chilling. How you doing? You're good. You, you wanna be you wanna be in the video or what's up? You wanna be in the video? Yeah, you're bro. Yeah. <laughs> huh? How awesome you are, bro. They, they, they already know you, you know? This is uh, my boy right here. He is always hooking it up here with Chipotle. Yeah, for David. David T. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. I'll see you, bro. Up here from Chipotle. You saw my boy here, Jose, who did not want to be on camera. No, he, he doesn't care. I just, it's funny because he's the type of person that he doesn't want people to know he's a manager because they want, they want him to treat him the same as all the other employees, you know? And that's pretty cool, you know? But then of course, if he does need to be the manager, he'll step in and say, hey, I'm, I'm the manager or whatever, you know? But he's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, food was ready. Now we're on our way. We're only three minutes away from the drop off. And then after this, guys, I gotta run to the house. I forgot some of the gas cards. So basically, to put it in context, right? When we fill up the trucks every night, every truck has their own gas card. And I took some home by accident and I have to bring them back uh, today, which I just remembered because they were not, like I checked my bag and they weren't in my bag and I was trying to like backtrack in my mind. And I remember taking it out, taking them out by accident 
Uh, well, I took them home by accident to begin with, you know, so that kind of sucks. So after this, we're gonna go ahead and call it. This should be enough though to win the 150, which I think is pretty respectable considering how slow it was from two to five. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's gonna be it, I think. Anyways, let me get this dropped off. Let me get the first one to drop. Let me get the first order from Chipotle dropped off. Then we'll see, we'll see you guys in, in the second drop off here from on the border. Let's get guys, we got the order dropped off and I'm happy to report that we are over 150, not by a lot, but that's where we're gonna end up because I gotta drive home to pick up this stinking gas card. So you know what? See, mistakes have consequences. That was my mistake for not leaving the, the, the cards at my in my desk or at least in the car or in my backpack or anywhere about the house. Now we're gonna drive 25 minutes there just to drive 25 minutes back. It is what it is, we still made 150. I think that's you know pretty respectable for a relatively slow day, I think. You know, two to five was brutal, that's for sure. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, the commanders have officially been sold. The NFL owners, you know, approved the sale of the football team to new ownership, which is awesome, because Dan Snyder didn't do anything with the franchise for 20 years, except, you know, put it further back. Instead of getting better, we got worse. We lost our name. Now, what the heck is that commander? We, we, we Think about this. You had the chance to rebrand, and you picked one of the worst names possible. Like, it's, it just, it's terrible. I'm hoping they rebrand again, um, you know what I mean? Or they should've just kept it on the football team for a year or two, you know? I always think it's so funny when like commentators or like, uh, you know, analysts on TV, it still, it still slips, or they'll say the Redskins, and it's like, ooh, they said the Redskins, you know what I mean? I'm just always gonna call them the Redskins. My daughter got little Redskins backpack, little Redskins gear. I'm curious if when she goes to school, and I send her to school in the little Redskins backpack, if they're gonna say anything. And I'm gonna be super annoyed if they do, because I know for a fact none of them kids are gonna have any issue with it. It'll be like some adult or some teacher or something. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, send me head home. I'm gonna show you some footage. Probably gonna walk my dog. I don't know, and then go to work. But overall, 150 on a relatively slower day. We'll take it. Let's hey guys. We made it to the house. Took out my dog. Got the stupid gas cards, and we're on our way back here to the W2. It is 7:45. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the Wawa, so I figured, hey, we're still driving there. I can tell you guys. Happy to report that, did all the math, and we barely made it, but we made it. $150 with 54 cents on a relatively slow Thursday. We shall take it. Now, tomorrow, like I said earlier, it's gonna be like more like a hybrid day. Probably gonna do a little bit of, you know, gig work in the morning, stop around six, pick it back up again later in the afternoon. Ooh, look at this, this is nice. Hold on, I'm looking at this uh, super truck. Looks like the competition, because it's not one of our trucks. Uh, it looks pretty nice, I'm gonna show, like, show you guys. The little super truck there on the left. That's that's new, first of all. And you know it's new when it's not even dirty. Look at these guys over here, what happened? Their furniture must have fallen out? Yo, that is so dangerous right there. My guy, tie that down, <laughs> tie that down. Um, but anyways, um, got the motorcycle, we wild then. Anyways, a pretty decent day. Hopefully you guys had a great Thursday. Hopefully you have a great weekend. Um, but yeah, so like I forgot to remember to like and subscribe. We're on our way here to 6,000, then 7,000, then 8,000, then 9,000, and 10,000 subs. You guys are awesome. I love y'all. Peace.